Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Kelly from Moon Pie Tarot. We're going to take a look at August and see what messages are showing up here for you. At the end of the reading, I will do each zodiac sign to see how they feel or what they're thinking about you. So if you want to get a personal reading, there's a link in the description box below this video. And yeah, let's get straight into your reading. It's a collective reading. So if this reading resonates for you, it is for you. If it doesn't, just, you know, don't try to make it fit. Uh, leave it be and let's move forward. Okay. So someone is feeling very betrayed right now. They are really having a hard time. They're, they're struggling. Someone here feels they're hitting a rock bottom. Uh, something may have ended or there's a sense of betrayal. A feeling of needing to get some solace definitely um i feel like there's someone here who is retreating and we are in this mercury retrograde right now so there is no communication here with the four of swords okay this person is in solitude they're not communicating they're not talking they have no interest to talk they are trying to renew themselves they're retreating getting some rest or some mental rest if anything after something has ended okay definitely after something has just come it's come to the end something is coming to an end and it's time to i feel like just rest maybe pray reevaluate a situation here okay um so it feels like in the hopes to come together or to renew a relationship that has previously ended so this person is also trying to seek contentment joy and happiness which is why there is this quietness and peace yes they could be wanting to have um this happily ever after with you or just trying to achieve this I, it feels like there's this pulling away after something has ended in order to be happy and to be without feeling stabbed in the back okay ten of cups contentment with family seeking love and support or just trying to be around others who bring love and support okay so just keep in mind this could be about you this could be you what how you're feeling or another person or someone that something has ended uh you may feel like you were stabbed in the back or betrayed in some way and you could be the one who's just going quiet and sticking with other people family or other like your soul tribe your the group of people who celebrate you okay so in the meantime there is this three of pentacles energy where i do feel like there is this somebody's focusing on work and building learning some new skills building rebuilding their life starting from scratch starting over okay so we do have water sign air sign and uh, earth sign here all right let's see what else is going on in regards to you how someone feels about you so somebody here is really just trying to reflect on their emotions and their feelings in regard to you okay um in regard to you seeking spiritual enlightenment um seeking clarity here um i feel like someone here is trying to figure out in regards to you what happened what's going you know like what happened this person is like very passionate about you They're very there's a there's a strong fiery energy in regards to you you need to know that um it's kind of lusty <laughs> there's a lusty passionate thing oh gosh i feel like this whoever your person is here they could be a virgo um they don't have to be but they think you are like winner winner chicken dinner i mean i feel like they're very attracted to um the people that are around you maybe you have fans they're they're really hot hot for you about that okay that's interesting um I feel like this person views you as someone who's 
kind of like very successful and you get a lot of recognition. Yes. But they also view you as someone who's very passionately driven in your life, right? But you also could be very quiet too. You keep to yourself. Okay. But something's over with that person. Something's ended here. They may have ended something here with you or you ended something with them, right? They also view you as being very transformative. You know, you are, they view you as someone who, um, with the death card, mm-mm-mm. Okay, how can I say this? <laughs> um, they view, they think that they believe that you've moved on. They, they do. They believe that you have completely, like it's dead in the water, that you've moved on. Okay, but they've moved on too. So it feels to me like there's two people who view each other in the same light, but something happened. Uh, there, something with this betrayal or a backstabbing kind of energy. Let's see. Let's take a look and see. I want to see what happened because it's pretty severe. Two people ended something. What happened with this? What happened with this Ten of Swords? Oh, somebody came in with some sharp words. Very aggressive communication. Sword, sword. This is... This feels like um, somebody said what was on their mind. Um, that Knight of Swords is like no restraint whatsoever. Uh, somebody talked about a lifestyle change or needing something to change, but I feel like there was very hurtful, hurtful words. Yeah, because of a sense of feeling unloved and feeling abandoned um, or feeling not worthy. Um, somebody took anger out on another person, okay, and said some very cutting things, and another person reacted in a very cutting way, okay? So, yeah, that's kind of, all right, tell, let's find out here, because there's something that's ended here, and there's two people here just trying to be happy in their lives separately, is how I feel. Um, and just there's no communication there might even be silent treatment but there's no communication here with the four of swords during this retrograde for sure and there's i don't know if anybody's thinking about anything there's, yeah kind of the hermit is here so i do feel like during this time there's two people here who are just kind of maybe con reconsidering things trying to understand some things where they, they feel like they're in the dark what i do know is that there is an energy of two people who are very they lust after one another they're both they view each other as being um victorious and successful and maybe having a lot of fans um but they also and they also view each other as being very transformative in some way um where there might be a lot of stops and starts in this relationship okay so let's see what is the outcome here for the listener and this other person. Okay, there's contemplation here. There's two people here who are not sure they want to invest. They're not sure that they don't, but they're not sure that they what to do at this point. There, there's this energy of like, okay, do do I do I do I give it one last shot? I've invested a lot. Do I do give it one last shot or I just leave it be? So there's there's a lot of contemplation about this. Two people right now during this retrograde are just thinking there's it's just contemplation it's not movement it's being very static and very still okay waiting there's a waiting energy there's a delay because there's there's a there's ambivalence you know is is this going to be a lot of more work a lot of work you have three tens showing up this reading is it going to be pushing really hard it's is it too hard is it too much work should i just be gone leave it should i just not even bother anymore there's a lot of thoughts or should i put the effort in okay so there's like mixed emotions and feelings about this thing um is it worth going back uh is there you know we'll we'll Will I be, still be in fear if if rekindle if there's a rekindling? Okay, there. Is, so there's. I feel like I don't know if it's just one person or two people, but there is this. There is a soulmate energy for sure, and it's almost like when it's good, it's good. When it's bad, it's just not good at all. 
Okay, so there's this, do I look at all the good or do I look at all the bad? Was it mostly bad or was it mostly good? There's trying to assess. There's a lot of reassessment happening here in regards to a particular relationship. So I do feel like, you know, I feel like you and this person do want to have a happily ever after, but I, I also feel like separately you want that as well. Do you know what I mean? Like no matter what, it's I'm going to work towards being happy regardless of the situation, regardless of something that happened in the past. And that's perfectly fine. That's really what, because at the end of the day, you got to make yourself happy, right? However, there is a contemplation about whether or not this relationship can, two people can make each other happy or there's a connection. There's a soulmate connection here. That's the Six of Cups. You know, this is a reunion. Should we? Should we not? Or one person saying, should I or should I not? Should I accept someone in or should I invite someone in? Yeah, there's a lot of, you know, new chapter, that's for sure. There's, there's a new chapter coming. That world card, completing a goal, learning a lesson is definitely on the table completing something here finish it out start a new chapter elsewhere or start a new chapter together okay first court card so queen of pentacles so you could be a virgo taurus or capricorn or this reading could be about a virgo taurus or a capricorn but somebody here is you know trying to figure it out yeah okay You know what, you guys, I, I can't say, I just, all I can really tell you, the energy that I'm picking up right now, is there's consideration on the floor. Yes, heavy duty. But there's ambivalence to going in all the way. As far as either reconciling or moving forward elsewhere. Okay, because I feel like there's two people here who desire something traditional and there are expectations but they're not great expectations you know what i mean they're just basic basic expectations okay there is a king of wands showing up here now so this could be uh either you're a fire sign or this is a fire sign uh that you're dealing with or soon will be connecting with okay hmm so there is apathy and indifference. So I do feel like before the Mercury retrograde ends, which is August 28th, I feel like if anybody reaches out to anybody, there's going to be indifference. I don't feel like the retrograde is the time to connect. I just don't. I don't. I feel like there's a message here that talks about letting the muddy water settle until it clears actually there is a saying do you have the patience to wait till your mud settles and the water is clear can you remain unmoving till the right action arises by itself okay so i feel like somebody might be you or another person eager and ready to take action but i feel like there's a hesitation to reaching out or talking right now it just feels like this timing thing isn't right i feel like a lot of thought needs to be put into whether or not to accept an offer or make an offer of love but i feel like during this time period probably not a good time because i feel like there's two people here who are it's it, I, they're telling the wound is still fresh the wound is still fresh not a good time Yeah, the wound needs light to heal. This wound, that's all that's needed. And I feel like there's, I don't feel like either person can bring the light right now because two people are in the dark. Two people here are in the dark and they're struggling. Leo energy right there. Two people are in the dark. They're struggling. There's a lack of um, understanding. 
uh, there, there's a lack of clarity right now. It's not time. It will, it will become clear eventually. Okay. And I feel like, so the sun would be, um, sometime around August 23rd or after things will begin to start clearing up. The light will get through the mud. You know what I mean? But right now you got the moon, right? And right now. Things are shady. Things are, uh, dis there's deceit. There's like, uh, I'm not so sure what I'm looking at here. There's a lack of understanding. All two people know is that at this time, there's no communication and two people are just trying to get some peace. That's, that's all that's happening. And they're seeking peace right now, a, a, a place of, of safety. And, and to do that is to be away from each other. So because of some kind of argument, right? So or something that happened, right? It doesn't have to be a breakup. So for some of you, this could just be like an argument between your friend. And yeah, everybody's just kind of, you know what? If we keep fighting, it's just going to get worse and worse and worse. Let's just break. Let's split. Okay? That, that needs to happen. Yeah, you listening? want that and the other and maybe you don't know you want it but you should want it <laughs> and the other person here wants that as well okay whether it's with a friend a romantic partner a platonic relationship family member a work thing whatever it is the energy here is just leave a bay right leave a bay if you happen to be a Virgo, go over to my Virgo channel, House of Virgo. Uh, there is a reading that uh, was uploaded earlier that if you don't know about my channel, you can go over there and check that out. Let's see how two people are feeling about each other right now. Let's take a look and see what the emotions are. Two people's hidden emotions for each other. Two people, what are two people feeling that they're not expressing at this time? I wish I could take back my words. There you go. Someone wishes they could take back their words and another person wishes they could take back those words. Okay. So there was some kind of argument. It was verbal. There's something here that happened. Okay. And so either you wish that you could take back your words or you wish that the other person could take them back. And like I said, there was aggression in words. Because I, I replay that conversation over and over. Somebody might have some regret and remorse here for something that was said or not said, right? Um, there's, there's definitely some regret and some remorse. Okay. I wish I could share my good news with you. So someone has some good news here that they want to share with you, but and it, it seems like it maybe it sucks because... Whoever this person is that's important to you, um, or you being important to them, you guys aren't talking. There's no communication right now. And something amazing is happening to someone here, and they want to tell you about it, or something's happening to you, and you want to tell them about it. It's really good. It's really positive. It's going to come. If it isn't already happening, it's going to be coming in August. And I feel like the default is like, oh, I got to tell this person. I'm so excited. But there's no talking. So it, it's, it feels like, man, I wish I, I wish it, somebody is here. Like, I wish I didn't tell so-and-so or say something that was harsh or, or rude. But yet, yeah, some two people here are feeling the separation. Definitely. It feels like a void here. Okay. And there's a, I can't stop thinking about you. Wow. It's like, it's crazy because it's like, I feel like there might be two best friends who had a falling out and said there was some harsh words spoken. And these two people are human, but these two people cannot be in communication right now because there's hurt. Yeah, there's, there's hurt for sure. And yet at the same time, it's a little bit like, oh man, I wish I could tell my best friend about all this awesome stuff. I feel lost without them. But at the same time, the flip side of the coin, there's this, oh, but the things that they said to me, it's a struggle. Just give it time. I feel like things will sort themselves out. Things always work themselves out eventually. But there obviously has to be some kind of apology. You were the best thing in my life. Wow. 
I know that I crossed the line with you, but I'm still so attracted to you. Okay, that's on the love front. <laughs> yes. You don't know how hard it was to let you go. Mm. Yeah, that's mm, this is a tough one, you guys. Just, you know, like I said, with this Mercury retrograde, just, just leave it, leave things be. The anger needs to go. The whatever the problem was, the, the harsh feelings need to dissolve. Okay. Um, if you're one of those people that's listening and you you hold grudges, well, I just have to say that those grudges are because oh, the other person's going to get over it, but you holding a grudge is only going to eat you up inside. So remember that. Holding on to grudge is like taking a poison and expecting the other person to feel it. You know, no, it doesn't work that way. It does not work that way. It only affects you in the long run, right? So forgive, be at peace. I'm not telling you to do it. You just do it when you feel like it's time. All right, let's take a look at how each zodiac sign feels about you listening. And we're going to start with Aries. Okay, Aries feels like you were potty mouth. Aries feels like... <laughs> Aries definitely watching you though. They're spying on you for sure. They're very curious to know what you're doing. Um, there might have been something that happened in regards to some kind of gossip. Um, they might be talking about you or asking others about you. All right, Taurus is in hermit mode. Taurus is trying to figure out what the F is going on. Uh, they don't want to talk to you. They're, they're not talking to you. They're going in. They're trying to get clarity. Um, they're trying to get like seek personal truth. And if they were the ones that did some harsh stuff to you, uh, they're trying to reassess and reevaluate why they did what they did. What was the whole meaning behind that and vice versa. If you were the one to do that, they are, you know, like I said in the reading, pulling their energy back. Okay. But they also sense that you are too. Okay. Oh, Gemini definitely wants to talk to you. I mean, Gemini is like as soon if you were to reach out to Gemini or just even say hi or anything, Gemini would like triple text you or just they want to talk to you. Gemini is pretty damn like they have a crush on you. Gemini is pretty much like, yeah, you know, I want to share this good news. I got good news. I got to tell them. I want to, I want, if they, if they open up and they talk to me, I'm going to flood the gates here. I'm going to flood, flood the dam. I want to tell them everything that's going on. Okay. Cancer. Mm. Cancer is, cancer is trying, cancer wants to overcome these obstacles or problems with you. They do. Okay. They have some new ideas and things that like, they're having some light bulb moments at this time. They think that you are, um, very sharp. They think you're sharp as attack, and you might be sharp with your words. They might be too, but I feel like Cancer is having these ideas. They're, they're definitely going to be coming through this in, in August about kind of how to remove the problems. They want to definitely talk to you about what the problems were. They will be trying to talk to you eventually and really like cutting through the BS. That's their intention with you. Okay. Um, <laughs> Leo is just strictly all about Leo right now. Leo is, Leo is being very alpha at this time. Um, but they also think that you, <laughs> they think you're, Leo thinks that you're very spicy. You know what I mean? Like kind of, you know, if this is you listening, you might just be very much and you're like, you know, I'm powerful. I'm confident. Everything's fine. But if you're not a Leo and you're dealing with a Leo, they think that you're just being very feisty, that you're feisty. But listen, look at the smile, the smirk on the face. It's like, oh yeah, very competitive. They think you're very competitive. Uh, if, you, if you're wondering if Leo is hurting, Leo is not hurting at all. Leo is too confident and too self-assured to have things be bothering them. Um... Leo actually would rather you reach out to them than they're, before they're going to reach out to you. Okay. Virgo's like at the end. Virgo's, Virgo's done. Virgo's exhausted. Ten of Wands here. Virgo's like too much stress, too many burdens. Virgo's letting it all go right now in August. Virgo's like, nah, I'm just going to take my, I'm just going to take whatever I have and I'm just going to move on. I'm going home. They're stressed out. And that's typical of Virgo, but Virgo's just exhausted. They're going home to get some sleep, to lay down to get some sleep. 
at this time. So pretty much resonates with the reading. Virgo is just doesn't want to talk. They got their back turned to you in in August. Okay. Uh, Libra showing up just like a Libra. Give me the fucking truth. <laughs> Libra is just like trying to be fair, but they want to know they want to know some truth from you. Okay. They want to know, they want to work on this issue or some kind of problem with you um, and come to some kind of fair compromise agreement or solution. Yes, that's their intention. That's their only intention. Le uh, Libra does not want any bad blood. They don't want any problems. They're not trying to engage in any kind of, like, like let's bring it to court. We'll get a judge to sit down and sort it out for us. They're willing and open, motivated, capable. They want to sort it out. They don't want any problems. They want it to be above board on the books just let's just put it into perspective let's make it fair let's let's even even everything out so that we could just move on that's their intention they libra does not want to be separated in any way they but they're not i, I just i don't feel like libra is going to reach out to try to do this i feel like they're going to wait but that's that's their intention with you okay so scorpio is the three of pentacles um, Scorpio is like, you know what, now I'm just going to go to work. I got like a team that I'm working with. I'm collaborating with others. Scorpio is not even thinking about this relationship so much. Um, not too, too much. They got other things. Uh, they got other, I feel like they have like a lot of pots boiling and cooking on the stove and they're, but at the same time, the three of pentacles can be a card of commitment. So I do feel like they might feel like you guys do better if you like just collaborate on projects and stuff like that right now instead of getting into being romantic with each other. Um, they might be studying. They're going to school. They're learning some stuff. So I feel like as far as your relationship with them goes, um, Scorpio is not trying to feel the feelings at this time. They're not really just dealing with that. They're just focusing on the coin and they're focusing on their communications with others, which is fine. It doesn't mean they're not really paying attention to the relationship, but they might just be trying to not be bothered with whatever this issue is. It might be a, a coping mechanism. Okay. Sagittarius. Sagittarius is waiting for you to return. Point blank period. They're going to wait for you. Yep. They're, they're going to wait for the return. They have hope. They believe that you and them uh, while there's a withdrawal, retreat, moving on, even they might even feel abandoned to some degree, they're still hopeful. They're still hopeful that you guys will get back on track. Okay. Capricorn. Oh, Capricorn's like, no, they got strong boundaries up right now. <clears throat> and they see that you do too. But they're holding their, they're, they're holding the fort on their end. Um, I feel like do not collect, do not trespass do not collect 200 capricorn is very much being very persistent um so if you were trying to reach out to them they, they're not gonna they're like no they're gonna push back and they know that if they're they also know that if they try to reach out to you you're gonna push back on this during this time period okay so there's this they're keeping up their boundaries here i feel they're keeping them up maintaining them and they're being persistent with Whatever they might have said to you, they're standing their ground with it. Even if it, even if it was hurtful, I'm sorry, they're standing their ground with it. All right, Aquarius. <clears throat> oh, Aquarius is like you're my soulmate. <sighs> Aquarius is is wants to come together. They do. They love you. They see themselves in you. They, they they think that you guys are perfectly matched, beautifully matched. You guys, Aquarius view view excuse me, views what might have happened here as this too shall pass. Um, Aquarius is all about humanity, wanting to be together. If you're an Aquarius, um, they also view you as still their person, okay? They view you as their person, as the one that is meant for them. And they just think, okay, well, we hit a speed bump and we're just just going to back off let the let the fire die down a little bit and then come back and recreate that spark hmm. all right and last but not least pisces ending the way we started pisces has a ten of swords oh 
Hey, oh, hold on. Pisces, um, totally, totally, uh, just, just at rock bottom right now. Totally at rock bottom. Yeah. And they don't think you're coming back. They can't even muster up the strengths during this time period. They feel betrayed or they feel like they betrayed you and they feel bad about it. There's a tremendous amount of grief with um, Pisces. Okay. So they're definitely hitting rock bottom. But the good thing about rock bottom, and I always like to say this, even though it can be a complete painful, shocking end, is that, did you die? No. Um, so I feel like there's light for you with this person and you know even for Pisces here look at the light coming up the sun will come out again tomorrow right and I feel like whether you two kiss and make up or you don't everybody's going to be all right in the end right everything's going to be okay and it's just keeping a positive attitude and mindset all right you guys I'm going to leave that there for you I hope you enjoyed that don't forget to click like share and subscribe and I will see you all back here real soon you said I was the only one No one likes being like to